Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh my gosh, I wish I could say I've got a ton of stuff to, to talk about, but I don't. I did do a little kind of like, for me, a mini haul because I really haven't done a whole lot of shopping. So I picked up a couple of things at the cosmetic company store and um, a few other different things. So, and I'm going to just give you an update on, on uh, what's been happening with my um, my surgery, my scar. So if you're curious, stay tuned. So I, this, at the time of this filming, it will have been a month, four weeks, since I've had my Mohs surgery. And I think that even though when I look in the mirror, uh, especially, you know, when I'm washing my face and all that, um, and I see the scar quite vividly, I'm still very swollen. And when I say that, I'm swollen all under here. It's very hard to the touch. Um, my eye under my eye is still swollen. It's not puffy swollen as much at all. Sometimes in the morning it looks worse with the swelling. And then as the course of the day goes on, the swelling goes down. So I've been using the Scaraway gel. The hardest thing for me, uh, when I wash my face, uh, it just it it just grosses me out to look at my scar, to look at it. So when I wash my face, I usually take my eye makeup off. I've been using oh, perfect time to talk about this, right? So I've been I've been using the um, the deep cleansing oil from DHC. I, and I really have liked it and I have bought it a couple of times and um, it's pricey so even on Amazon so I wanted to try the Burt's Bees cleansing oil which is a little bit more I'm not too sure if you know if you're into into all of the um, the different things like cruelty free or all that I don't I don't really know the status of this I would have to really look it up but it's a lot uh, more affordable than this. So I wanted to try it. I wanted to see how it would do. And I figured, well, worst case scenario, I could pack it in my motorhome type of thing, right? Well, I've been using it. I really like it. I, 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 I can't tell you a difference. One night I did a, one eye and the other eye with this. I couldn't really tell a difference. They both kind of really cleaned my eye makeup off really nicely. The Burt's Bees had a slight scent to it not overwhelming, not harsh, nothing like that. So that would probably be the biggest difference. But other than that, it took my mascara off. It took everything off the same amount of degree that the, the DHC cleansing balm, the cleansing oil has. And I really like using an oil to get all of that off. So bought this quite, um, I think maybe $18, $17. And because I bought it in Walgreens, I often have Walgreens points, and sometimes it's buy one, get another half off, etc. So I'm always watching the sales on Walgreens. So I bought it. I really, so far, I really like it. So it's going to go camping with me in the motorhome. The other thing that I have bought repeatedly and um, is I buy the Members Mark makeup removers. And it comes in, these are cleansing towelettes, it removes waterproof mascara, all of that stuff. It has a very, um, I think it has a very scent, a very light scent, very soothing. Hardly at all. I don't notice it at all. It's, but it's really nice. I really enjoy this and extremely affordable. So I have several little packages. It comes in, you know, comes in this big box and they're all like these little, little packages. And um, I really like it. So I use this, I use the oil, and then I use one of the wet ones, wipe, you know, and I, I wipe it off and then I'll wash, and then I'll wash with my regular cleanser, which is peaches, but I'm not, I don't bring my peaches cleanser on top of my scar yet. It's just, uh, it just, the idea of that just really freaks me out. So that's what I've been doing. Really, really um, like the way that I've been cleansing. So I go around everything with my peaches. Then I do some gentle, you know, if I have to, exfoliation on the rest of my skin. But I've been doing nothing on my scar but washing, cleansing, 
and then doing the, the silicone scar away. Um, I have ordered another silicone scar away that Sheila had told me that it has an SPF factor in, in it. I haven't got it in yet at the time of this recording. I don't know when you're going to see this, but at the time of this recording, it has not come in yet. So uh, I have been just on a mission, right, with trying to keep my skin protected, my face protected. So I'm loving the fact that we have all these large sunglasses that you can get. I just ordered these. And I can wear the sunglasses without really bothering me because I can sit them low on my nose. And then um, I got these from Amazon. I, thought, I think these are stinking cute. I really like them. And, uh, but I can wear them low on my, the bridge of my nose. And then I have my, my you know regular hats. So many of you have commented when I wear a hat, they re you really like some of the hats on me. This is the one that I wear the most because it's the flat back and I can, I can wear it driving. I can wear it when Jay and I are going somewhere. Um, right now I have a banana clip in my hair so it, it doesn't really um, work that well. But, you know, and then I can put my, my, um, my sunglasses. And I do feel that I'm sort of kind of protected a little bit. But my hat, uh, my visors, now my visors and my hat are 50 SPF or 50, I don't know if it's SPF when it's closed, it's another, it's named something else, but I look for the sun protection, I think it's called um, UPF, I think it's called UPF, so, and this one is a 50 plus. And, uh, and I have some that are 30, I have some that are a lot less, but I've been wearing a lot of visors. I like the visors because if you are going out somewhere and you have a visor, if you are going out somewhere and you have a visor on your head and you take it off, you don't tend to have all the um, hat hair that everything else has. These two I bought last year. These are also with the sun protection for clothing and I'm not too sure if this is the 50 or the 30 um, it's 50 I just thought these were really pretty I like the I, I like very much the um, little ribbon what I wish I had this year was that this was a, a broader brim because it really doesn't cover my face as much as it should cover but i love the look i love the little bows the little whatever but i bought these last year this was before i knew i was going to have mo's surgery or anything anything like that so but now it's like the bigger broad room hat are what i really need to focus on i also ended up buying i don't know these are sketchers these are machine washable i wanted a closed slip on you know, a, a closed toe slip-on that I could wear riding my bike. And I'm going to see how they work. I, I don't know how good they'll be technically for riding my bike, but I figure they'll give me a little bit more protection than if I'm wearing my Tiva sandals. Because sometimes with the open sandals, your, you know, the toes can get hit on your pedals and can scrape yourself up. So I bought those for my bike ride. We are going to, at one point, we're going to be going up to Bar Harbor, Maine, and we're going to be camping up there. This is where we camp every year in August, and we love it up there. So you'll start to see some pictures and some different things from Bar Harbor, Maine. So I'm trying to be as proactive as possible. I want to be able to ride my bike. I already know which bike I'm bringing, and I want to make sure that I have plenty of sun protection. I have ordered... And I, I got the new Super Goop in. I talked about this in my last video. This has been re working really well for me. I have been trying to find the dupe for this um, that Trader Joe's has, but they're sold out everywhere. So I am still using the Super Goop so far this year. And the fact that it is that almost silicone-y feel on my face like a primer. This has been a huge, huge hit. I put my scar away on. I let my scar away dry. Then I put my sunblock on. I put my super goop on. Just go right over the whole the whole scar. It just like freaks me out. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my gosh. It, it does. It freaks me out. Put it, I just put it right all over that. And, um, and then I let that dry. And then I, I haven't really been putting anything on top of it for a foundation because I've just been, I don't know, I, I just get a little weird, weirded out about it. So um, I've been wearing the Estee Lauder or the Lancome 
Um, those are the ones that I have right now. I would have always said that the SD Lauder I think is my favorite. It gives me full coverage if I want it. I can build it. I can take it down. I can, you know, do an awful lot with it. It covers my veins, which I really like. So I've been, I just use a very light foundation. I don't, don't use a whole lot of it. I put a couple of dabs on my face and then I might have some on my hands that I use, lately I've been using a brush. And so I brush it in and then the last dab, <laughs> I go over my scar. Just a little to kind of like neutralize maybe the bold redness. I'm just really freaky about it. Anyways, the last year, maybe even a year and a half, right? My SD Lauder, I, this last one I bought, I had to buy in, um, in Sephora. But every time I've gone to the cosmetic company store and there's like three of them near me or closer to me than, you know, like within an hour, right? All these cosmetic company stores. But every time I've gone, they have not had my color. And that's usually where I get my Estee Lauder foundation because it's so much cheaper. Anyways, I, at, on a lark, I was um, up in the Lakes region with a coworker of mine and I said, oh, you know, she goes, let's go in. I said, they're not going to have it, but let's go in. Oh my gosh, I could not believe it. There were two of my shade on the shelf, Pebble. I grabbed both of them. I couldn't believe it. And they, I think everything was 40% 40, 40 off. And I had a coupon. And it, I paid for two, for two bottles of this. And I got a lipstick. I'm trying to go a little bit darker. Um, for two bottles, I paid less than I would have paid for one. 40, I can't really see, 40, $40, $42, I think, for both of them. And, um, and, and I was just so, I mean, I, I would have bought three or four if they had them, right? Because to, to buy, you know, for $20, $21 or something, ultimately, for my SD Lauder, um, is to me a big saving. So, and I really do like this. So I got my backup and my backup. I'm oh so happy because of this, I had to buy at Sephora. And even though I had a, it was a coupon sale too, it was still a lot, oh, a lot more money. So I got that. And then I went to try a lip balm. So anyway, so I got this MAC lipstick. I can't read it. I don't have my glasses. So I'll leave the name down below. And I thought it was, I thought it might work for me. But it's it's actually too dark for me so I have it on now I have a I have a neutral topper on which is I'm almost out of this this is the um, Rimmel Katie look at it got hardly anything left in that uh, but that's like my favorite nude so about this I do need to keep it topped with my nude because other than that I think it's just too dark for me. I, I'm just a light lipstick gal, so I got that anyways, and I'm trying to get used to darker lipstick so I don't look so so terribly washed out. So I got that, and I got the two SD Lauders. I was so, so happy. And then I also, I love the wallflowers. Do you guys use the wallflowers? This is the Ethan Body Works. Sometimes they're on sale really awesome and sometimes usually the best sales you can get for these are like right around between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, they had a sale a couple of weeks ago. I bought like 20 of them. They were so stinking cheap. I couldn't believe it. I love these. I have a couple of the little the little ones you plug it into. I love the scents of them. So I go in there and I smell and I go, oh, I like this one. I like that one. Well, I ended up buying like 20 of them and I got a couple of their, their foaming hand soaps, which is my, my basic, my favorites. So, yeah, I mean, other than just trying to maintain my scar and keep myself covered up, gosh, as much as I possibly can, I, that's really what I'm doing. I'm working. I'm start trying to uh, lose weight. Have any of you seen Marlene Fab and Glam? Oh, my gosh. If you haven't watched her video, like, you should go check out her latest video. She's, like, down 90 pounds. She looks absolutely phenomenal absolutely phenomenal I am so envious she looks beautiful oh my gosh anyways she's been doing the Weight Watchers so I have not I've not um, I don't think I would be successful on that but I have not tried anything quite seriously other than to just cut my calories and be a little bit more active well obviously that's not working too well for me but anyways so 
that's it. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of a haul. If you have a cosmetics company store near you and you're an Estee Lauder girl, they have all sorts of other brands. They have MAC, they have Tom Ford, Clinic, uh, Clinique, Bobby Brown, Smashbox, Smashbox, yeah, and um, they, I mean, they really do carry a ton of different cosmetics, but it's hit or miss whether you're going to get your shade. And like I said, I've gone several times and my shade has been gone. So I was stinking so happy. <laughs> this is so happy to, to, to be able to get that. Oh, and I also wanted to tell you, I have been still using the Fiera. This is that the neck cream that I did the review on. They sent this to me complimentary via the Octoly Network. I also ordered their concealer. So I'm really hoping when the concealer comes in before I leave town because I want to be able to see how it, how it covers my scar. The biggest thing for my scar is sunblock. That's the, that's the biggest issue. I have to keep it covered. Sunblock, sunblock, sunblock. But anyways, this stuff, I mentioned that I just started to use it. I really like this. It, it makes, for some reason, it makes my neck feel really supple, really good. So I'm super thrilled with this so far. I really am. And um, yeah, I like it. Mm, I really do. I like it. I think my neck looks for an old lady, you know, I think my neck looks okay. It's not going to be perfect. I'm 68. I don't expect to be perfect, but you know, that, that I really have enjoyed. And I know I mentioned those glass nail files to you guys, but seriously, seriously, I still don't have any polish and I know I'm letting my nails, um, you know, kind of like get, get healthy and all that between my collagen and my nail files, my nails have been awesome they're strong they're hardly breaking the files that i love the glass nail files i love the glass nail files. they're just really awesome so anyways that's it for me and um i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for all your support be sure to like the video leave me a comment and if you're new don't forget to subscribe